guys, I'm filming on a dark and gloomy day. What better time to talk about something that'll bring light into your life? That is my favorite makeup product on the planet, highlighters. One of my most watched videos of all time was my Ridiculous Highlighter Collection. It's old, it's grainy, but I think it's got several hundred thousand views, which is frightening. Um, today, I'm not gonna go through my whole collection. I am going to go through the highlighters that I actually use on a regular basis. I have more, but these are the ones that I reach for and I could show you all of them, but then it would be like lying. Like, oh, look at this one. No, I'm just showing you the ones that I actually use and recommend. So I'm going to start with drugstore and I will be perfectly honest, drugstore products excel with many things. Highlighters are not one of them. There's still not a lot of great options, but there are a few that I would like to recommend to you. The first one is what I have on here. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, and also stay tuned. I will swatch all of them and show close up, so do not worry. Anyway, first love is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Brick, Shimmer Strip. Can't remember what it's called exactly. It's a beautiful block, square block of creamy, soft eyeshadow slash highlighter. It could be used as either. This um, comes in different shades, so if you want a little bit more copper, more warm, whatever but this is the one that I like that works best with my skin tone and you have a lot of options even within here. So great and I'm wearing it today and I really do love it, love the texture. Um, another brand that just knocks it out of the park with highlighters is Makeup Revolution. They also make bronzers that I love. This looks a lot like uh, the Laura Geller baked highlighter that I've not actually had the opportunity to try. It's on my wish list. Um, they come in different shades, but it's very soft, again, very reflective, very, um, this one's very icy, kind of icy pink almost in there. And I have to say, while we're uh, talking about the brightness factor, I went through a period of my life where I liked a very sedate, very understated highlighter. I'm not in that phase right now, so if you're looking for demure, these are all, bam, here is a highlighter, here is a cheekbone. I am reflecting light back at you. So that's the kind of thing I'm into right now. There is one from the drugstore that is slightly more subtle and I think is a dead on dupe for the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder, which I don't reach for at all anymore because I really do like that crazy bam. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Palette. Yes, and this is the one in the shade Light and this, I don't, I'm, the contour shade is okay, but this, I mean, it's, it's good, it's fine. But the highlighter is actually, they did a great job with this. So if you are, this is the only subtle one I have for you, this one is actually quite nice. I really like it. I can't speak to the uh, different shades, but the light one, love it. Okay, that's it for drugstore. So an oldie but a goodie, the Balm Mary Luminizer, cute packaging, really nice mirror. I know that that's maybe not a reason to buy it, but it's great. This is a beautiful uh, golden tone, but like icy golden beautiful highlighter. There's nothing subtle about this. I love this, not so much for my cheeks anymore as just that inner corner right here, just to get that little right in there. Um, you can't go wrong with this. I've had this for a really long time. I've not even made a dent. This little guy will last you a lifetime. But in case you wanna add more highlighters to your collection, I do have, this is a fairly recent love. I got this in April, this was given to me. I've talked about it in a couple videos. This is from the brand Rodial, which is a big brand in the UK. And this is, I need to read this to you, is the Instaglam Compact Deluxe Illuminating Powder in the shade 01. This is another one that looks like nothing special in the pan, but you get this thing on your face and people will stop you and ask you what is on your cheekbones. It's gorgeous. It's also $57, it's a little steep. So if you wanna spend a little bit less, there are some other options. And that is where my favorite brand for highlighters comes in and it is Becca. I first bought my first Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in 2015 and I have not looked back. This is the one that introduced me to the obsession. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector from the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and Champagne Pop. You can see mine is, can you see that? That's some dents. Yes, it is well loved. I went crazy, I love it, I still love it. It's such a wearable, beautiful shade. I didn't think it was gonna work on me, but it, I think it does and I cannot get enough of it. So, I don't think this is still available, but I just wanted to show you. I went out during the holidays and bought this palette, which is also a limited edition from Jaclyn Hill. This is the holiday palette and this included pearl, 
champagne pop in the middle, and then actually one of their luminous blushes, um, blushed copper. So love those. They're all different kind of tones depending on your skin tone. Then I ordered some other Becca products and I got some deluxe samples and I got them in the shade, this is Moonstone, which is probably my second favorite behind Champagne Pop, and Opal, which is this one. Opal looks like it's kind of a dirtier brown. This is the most subtle, I'd say, out of the shimmering skin perfectors that I've tried. And if you're looking for something that just kind of blends more seamlessly into your skin tone, but still gives you this beautiful, glow this would be a great option um, also if you're darker skin toned the lighter ones i showed are going to just make you look ashy so this might be a better option if you are a deeper skin tone this would look beautiful on any kind of bronze skin gorgeous i think i ordered this one from ulta this is the afterglow palette i'm not sure if this is still available but um that's how i got one of the little minis that came with this and this has um it has a couple of their mineral blushes but it has more of the um the highlighters over here. Can you tell I'm a huge fan of the Shimmering Skin Perfector? And then lastly, I did get, and again, this was sent to me, the face palette from the Champagne Glow um, collection. This is with Jaclyn Hill and Becca again. It's a beautiful palette. If you buy anything from her collection, this is what I recommend. And of course it has the original Champagne Pop in here and it also has the Prosecco Pop. I'm trying not to blind you, but Prosecco Pop is over here and it is a true gold, warm gold, not icy gold. Better for darker skin tones, but I can wear it too. Um, so it just goes with a lot of skin tones, it's gorgeous. They're just beautiful, luminous, soft. They last a really long time. Becca just makes a great product, so I have bought a lot of them. And then the last highlighter that I actually use, I do have a recommendation for a dupe for this. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in their liquid form, it's a pump. I mix this with a lot of my more matte and satin foundations. I mix this in with my moisturizer. Um, I don't so much use it just to dot it on my specific, um, the parts that I wanna highlight. And it's gorgeous. It is, you know, a drug, not a drugstore. It is a department store, higher end brand. So if you want a pretty close dupe, it's not gonna give you the same shade, but it's gonna give you a similar effect. I don't have it anymore, I used it up. It's the L'Oreal, I think it's called the Magic Lumi. It's in a little white pump, and I used to use that all over my face, under my foundation, mix with my foundation. It's the same concept. You get a really pretty effect with that. And I, when you mix it in with your foundation, basically what happens is you automatically get highlights on the higher points of your face, on your cheekbones, down your nose, across your forehead. It's a really kind of beautiful all over luminous effect that I think works particularly well with more mature skin if you're worried about using some of these big, heavy, really intense highlighters. Now real briefly, I wanna to touch on what brushes I use to apply it. 99.9% .9 of the time, I use the Wayne Goss O2 brush. I bought this in a, like a beauty box type thing I tried once and I just swirl it around and just, oh, so soft. Just brush it here on the cheekbones. I do a little bit right between, kind of like in a little T, slightly above my eyebrows and down a little bit. I do it, I have lipstick on, I don't wanna do it right now, but I do it, I brush it across the top of my lips and then I dip it, my finger in, and I just go boop on the tip of my nose. This is the best, the best highlighter brush. But if it's um, dirty or I'm just too lazy and don't wanna reach for it and this ends up in my hand, this is the other one that I use and this is the Real Techniques Fan Brush. I'm not certain if it's still available, and it's a similar effect. I just lightly kind of brush it across the surface of the highlighter, and it's the same thing. I just lightly brush it here, here. You, the nice thing is you can, you can really get precise with where you want to place it. Here, and boop. And then what I used to use all the time before I discovered these two brushes is the Sonia Kashuk Small Duo Fiber Brush. Same general concept, but it's a bigger, it's a bigger brush head, so you're not gonna get as precise a placement. And then as far as when I apply highlighter in the whole process of putting on all of this, foundation, powder, bronzer, and then I put the highlighter on under my blush. So highlighter on first and then blush on top, kind of blending the uh, bronzer and, and highlighter together to give that kind of glowy, blushy look. That's how I like to do it. 
So that is it. Those are my current favorite highlighters, my current favorite highlighter brushes, and where and how I put on my highlighter. So that is the current favorites for that. Let me know what collection you want to hear about next. Is it lipsticks? Is it eyeshadows? Foundations? I'm going to go through the whole thing, but whatever gets the most votes is what we do next. Thank you so much for watching. I love hanging out with you. And give me your suggestions. If there's one I don't have that you think I need, please let me know because, you know, I always need another highlighter, right? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So you know that one of the perks of making YouTube videos is that sometimes beauty companies send me stuff to, I guess, to review or to play with or whatever. 